Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in another video that I recently posted, I said that I may come back and share with you all some of the gems that I have sort of adopted from the fragrance and hygiene um, communities here on YouTube. So that is what this video is going to be today. Um, I just pulled out a couple of the products that I have been using. Um and sort of things I've been experience, experimenting with after I watched a few of their videos. And um, I have been watching, let me tell you. So I have been watching, which um, this person I have been subscribed to since forever, since she was just doing like nail polish videos. And that is Joanna McLeod. She is now like she is really on it. Like she does a lot of bath and body works and a lot of skincare videos. She'll even share her grocery hauls with you and things like that. So I've been watching her. I've been watching Kayla Michelle, which Bath and Body Works Queen. I have been watching Living Ash, and Living Ash does um, a lot of reviews. She has a, a huge Bath and Body Works um, collection, but she also has higher end um, fragrances. And she'll take you on like her shopping hauls when she's going to shop for her fragrances and skincare. So I've been watching her. Um, Chloe Yasmin, I have watched a couple of times. Also, um, the names escape me, but um, I will put like a couple of other ladies that I have been watching on the screen. Um, I'm gonna jump right in. Some of these things I have like maybe watched this person's channel once or twice, so I don't remember the name of the person, the video, the name of the person's video that I watched where I got the idea from. But um, we're gonna start like with the underarm area, so thing about menopause is like I don't know if this is like true for everybody but for me I have been having a harder time controlling like my underarm odor I wouldn't say I sweat more but it seems like the odor is a little bit stronger um with menopause so I was watching um videos just random videos on how to like detox and things you can use for underarm odor or things you can use if you want to transition from deodorants with aluminum to aluminum free deodorants. And um, the first thing that kind of popped up was this product to detox your underarms. And it is from Pacifica. It is called the Coconut and Charcoal Underarm Detox Scrub. And it looks like this. And I know a lot of the ladies use this, but a lot of ladies make their own underarm detoxes. This one looks like this. And you just pretty much rub it up under your arms and rinse. It says, let's see, massage under, massage onto your underarm area in a circular motion, rinse well, follow with Pacifica deodorant. I don't have Pacifica deodorant. I have other aluminum free deodorants. But ever since I have been using this, I have been noticing that, um, I haven't had like that breakthrough midday funk up under my arms ever since I have been sort of like doing the detox up under my arms. The aluminum free deodorant is now working a lot better for me. Whereas before I think I was like moving on to like the clinical strength deodorant. Now I can use aluminum free and not have any worry about the odor up under my arms. The next thing that I had seen going around is using this product from The Ordinary. And it is the Glycolic Acid Toning Solution. And it looks like this. And I had already had this like in my little skincare um, collection anyway. But I had tried it and I don't really like it like as a toner for my face. And I think I've also seen my girl Kara from K's Ways talk about this also. Um, there is something about this glycolic acid 
that kind of kills the odor up under your arms. Like what I will do is like put a little, make sure I close it. Just like sprinkle a little bit of it in my uh, in my palms, rub my palms together and just kind of massage it into the underarms. I'll do this at night um, so I don't, I don't like to wear deodorant at night. I really don't think you should, but you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning, the underarms are a little smelly. So, um, I have been putting this under my arm, like maybe three, four times a week. And I wake up in the morning, no odor up under my arms whatsoever. So this is been pretty good for me as far as controlling underarm odor. And another thing that is supposed to be for odor anyway, and they even sort of advertise it as an internal deodorant is chlorophyll. I picked up from Vitacost this Nature's Way Chlorofresh Chlorophyll Concentrate, and it comes like this, and it has 90 soft gels in it, but you take two soft gels per day. And I'll show you what they look like. I know some people use the chlorophyll liquid and they'll mix it in water, but I have this little issue with things like that. But they look like this. So they are little really, really deep green capsules. Um, they do turn your poop green, I will tell you that. Because what's in here is the, the ingredient that gives plants the green color. But it's being touted as an internal deodorant. So it's supposed to help with all odor. It's supposed to help with the underarm odor, the private area odor, the breath odor. It's supposed to help with all of those things. So I've been using that also. And those things have been helping me tremendously. So I feel a little bit more fresh. Um, another thing, and I think this was Chloe Yasmin was like the person who sort of brought this to the forefront. And that is using the Baby Dove baby wash in your private areas. I will put a little caveat here. You do not put anything inside of your vagina. I don't care what it is. Nothing goes inside of the vagina. The vagina is self-cleaning. So you are cleaning like the labia and the, you know, the outer part of the vaginal area and not inside of the, the vagina with this. If you do, you're gonna be in trouble and end up with a yeast infection. But this makes you feel so nice and clean. It is not irritating at all. I am almost done with this bottle. I actually picked this up from Amazon because I feel like it was cheaper than if I went to Walmart and got it. Um, so this one is almost empty, but I do have a backup of it. I really like it. I like having, um, so those feminine washes like the Vagisil odor control and all those things can be like a little bit too perfumey. This one, this one, although it does have fragrance to it, the fragrance is very minimal granted that we use this on our babies and we use this on our baby girls so it has to be gentle enough for them so it'll be gentle enough for me so I've been using that um also I have been you I have been like more in to my fragrances I have always been somebody who layered the fragrance so I will put a lotion on and then put the fragrance on top of it but these ladies have taken it even a step further and they use the um, Vaseline Healing Jelly All Over Body Balm Jelly Stick. That's a mouthful. And it looks like this. And I just picked this up from Target. And it is indeed a stick. It's not a uh, greasy like regular Vaseline. So what they do is just sort of put it on the pulse points and you can see it's not even super shiny. Put it on the pulse points. You can put it like in the cleavage. You can put it behind your ears if you want to, wherever you would normally spray your perfume. It'll sort of grab onto the fragrance and it'll make it last longer. And I like that it's not super um, greasy. You you think because it's like Vaseline that it would, um. It, does it say petroleum jelly? 
it does say jelly is thick but you think it's because it's vaseline will be like goopy and greasy like vaseline and it's not some people do also just use regular vaseline and just um use a small amount and just kind of rub it into the skin spray the skin it'll grab onto your fragrance and make it last longer um another thing that is like really popular in the fragrance community is sort of doing fragrance combos so i have been sort of experimenting i what what i have been doing is if i find that a perfume that i like has a note in it and like something that i have from bath and body works has that same note in it i'll try to pair the two of them together even though the other notes may differ as long as they kind of share a note I think it's okay to kind of experiment with it and see if they work so um, I have been doing a little Bath and Body Works and more higher end perfume comboing and um, one of the first ones that I did try is I have the Alt Cherry Smash um, perfume from Alt Fragrances and this is supposed to be a dupe for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. This smells really, really good. Really good. Um, and then I also, I picked up the Bath and Body Works Sugar Cherry Crisp during like the SAS. And I found that this smells a lot like the Cherry Smash. So I pair the two together. That way you can have like fragrance all over your body, but you don't have to spray your whole body with your actual perfume. You just spray the pulse points with the perfume. You spray the rest of the body with the body wash. Um, after those, all those after you put the lotion on. So fragrance comboing has been a big thing for me. It's kind of helping me use up Bath and Body Works. And this might be my backup I think I got a back I got two of those but um, it's helping me use up my Bath and Body Works fragrances as well as getting bringing new life to my other perfumes I think that is it that in the fact that I have discovered like the fine art of over spraying I have not because perfumes are a little mixed especially eau de parfums are more concentrated so i am not one who is going to be confident enough to spray that i don't want to like knock everybody out but i will over spray the heck out of a bath and body works body mist um that's it you all those little, little fuel gems i picked up from the fragrance and um hygiene community and i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some tips that you were not aware of um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup.